it's Kate here and today I thought I would do a little bit of a plan with me because I haven't done one for a while and um, yeah that's why I'm here. So to give you an update on my kind of setup, it is April, I've moved into the Robin's Egg um, Carpe Diem planner which is so beautiful, I love it. Um, I had the pink one before and Robin's Egg is just perfect for spring. Um, I'm still using my um, Erin Condren um, inside, so um, this is next week's um, spread which I will be decorating and I have made some new stickers to go in it, um, let you have a little look at those, my camera will focus, it takes a minute, so yeah so this is sort of how I set up my sticker sheets, I do them so that they form into two A5 pages um, and it just means that I can punch this one into my planner at the end once I finish planning and then use all these stickers um, throughout the week. So that's kind of the stickers that I've designed for this week um, and will be using in my planner. So then um, I'm going to get cracking and let's do this plan with me. Okay so I've pulled out the sheets I'm going to be using um, from my Erin Condren. Um, as you can see I've uncoiled my Erin Condren um, back at the start of the year and I just covered the coil um, holes with white sticky paper and then just repunch them so they, they could go in my Carpe Diem. The first thing I'm going to do is just cut down um, my sticker sheets because um, it just makes it a little bit easier um, to manoeuvre. So it's just, ha it's just much easier for me to have um, two smaller sticker sheets, so I've got one with all the kind of functional bits and pieces which are going to get used straight away, and another with more of the fun decorative accents um, which I will use now and also later during the week. Um, so I'm going to start using all the functional bits and pieces first of all. Um, as you can see I've got a few things going on um, this week, I use these um, Kiki K um, little post-its, these little cat post-its just to mark down what's going on. Um, they actually come in a pack of four but because there are so many in a pack I've actually just cut them in half and I just use two two at a time and just slot them in the front of my planner. So those are the little, um, the cute little um, cat post-its notes I'm using. They're from the Vanscap range. Okay then, let's get sticking. First thing I do is pop my weekend banner down. It always goes um, here. Let's pop that one down. Then I'm just going to do all my headers. So I use today to do and remembers as my headers. Okay, so that's what it looks like with all the headers um, put down. On the weekends I use today and remember um, so that I tend to write a to-do list down here or bits and pieces I need to do, um, but that's kind of how it looks um, just with the headers down. Then I always go and do um, my heart checklists in my to-do boxes, so I'm going to do that now. Okay, heart checklists are done, then I'm on to the bits that I pop at the bottom, so I have a social media reminder box because I am hopeless at remembering to post on social media for my business, so usually at the end of the day I look at that and I'm like, oh I've not filled that in, I need to fill that in, and then I've got my meal um, icon stickers, these are basically just so I can track what I'm eating, um, and also it's good for meal planning because I can flip throughout flick back through my planner and see what we're eating and um, use it to plan the next week ahead. Okay. 
Okay, so that is all the functional stickers done, um, so I can completely chuck that sheet away. So it means that it's kind of on to the fun decorative stuff, which I really love. Um, this is my current washi jar. As you can see, there aren't that many washies in here. Um, I've just um, got a delivery of the Mambi washi tapes into my shop, and I picked my favourite two packs, and these are the ones I picked. So I just love all the colours in them, they're really spring-like. Um, so I'm going to use something from here to decorate. Okay, so these are the washi tapes I'm going to use. Um, I love this one, it's like a watercolour one, I think it's from the Hello Life or My Life or something, um, but it's gorgeous. So yeah, those are the ones I'm gonna use on this week's spread. Okay, so that's how it looks washied up and kind of ready for the fun planning bits on it. So first things I do is use these um, sort of big stickers. So this Keep Calm and Pack orders always goes on Monday because Monday is always a little bit crazy after the weekend um, in my shop where I have to pack all the orders up. So Monday's not the best day. That's all I'm doing is packing orders. This week's motto is stop slacking and make it happen. Last week, I just had a really lazy week where I was just doing a lot of online shopping and a lot of other stuff rather than working. So this week um, I need to focus and catch up on the tasks I should have done last week and really did not. Then underneath that, I just pop um, this week and that's just like a general kind of things I'd like to achieve in the week. Um, and then underneath that, I am putting a little goals sticker. Okay, I'm popping this one down here. Um, we are basically in the middle of buying a house and there are lots of boring housey tasks to be done. So I'm putting down a little house sticker and that's going to be house goals. I can zoom in a little bit more actually. So my house goals for this week are find surveyor, arrange survey, and then declutter shoes. I basically have a long list of decluttering that I need to do and shoes is next up on the list. Um, let's tackle credit card bills. So I have my American Express due on the 13th. Actually, I might put that one up there. This one is due on the 13th. So that is the credit cards all done. Then Tuesday is just like a massively busy day. I've got so much going on. Uh, my mum is coming at 12 with her dog. She's off to Paris with, they're off to Paris with some friends. So she's bringing their dog at 12. Then I am heading into London. London. That one can 
Pinge, that one Pinge. Then I'm having an eye test. Let's find my glasses stickers. Okay, so I have an eye test. I'm seriously running out from here. Eye test at 6 p.m. And then down here, I am having dinner with a friend. So, pop a little dinner icon. So I think I'm meeting her at 7 p.m. Dinner with Jane. And we just need to decide where we're going and then I can fill that bit in down there. Okay, so Wednesday, we are going out for dinner with some other friends and there's like a restaurant opening um, which we're going to so we need to dress up for that apparently I might lose that bit train to London okay so we are having dinner just find out where we're having dinner. I think it's 7 p.m. 7 p.m. Franco Manka Jane. Okay, I think that is Wednesday taken care of. Thursday on Thursday. Last week it was normal so this week is recycling. And our cleaner is coming. else do I need to do? Need to get a food delivery. Pop that there, which means it will be delivered. Wednesday. I don't know what time yet, but I will pop that in. Okay, on Sunday. I am going to meet my mum to, she'll be, she and my dad will be back from Paris so I will go and meet her and drop Meg off. Don't know what time yet. Or where. So we will figure that out later in the week. Um, and then I am going to my friend's house for a planning afternoon so we are going to plan together next weekend. Hi Leanne! <laughs> and I still haven't figured out what time we're meeting so planning at Leanne's. And at some point I need to clean the chickens out next week. I also need to download my accounts.
and I suspect we will take the dogs onto Whitmore Common, which is like local common to us, and walk them. Okay, let's zoom out a little bit, let me see a bit better. Yeah, so I think that is pretty much everything that I need to pop in for the week ahead. Um, as you can see, I've got quite a few stickers left over which I will use um, during the week. Lots of little icon stickers. Um, I do track my wine intake because I do like a little bit of wine. Um, and if any housey things are going on, if I have a bath, if I bake, um, and some little cute little flaggy things here. So that is basically everything. That's kind of how I do um, my planning at the moment. And I do like quite a lot of white space, as you can see, because I like to write things in my planner. Um, and that's just kind of how it works for me. But yeah, I think that's a really, really pretty spring time kind of layout. So um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this plan with me. Um, if you do want to see more, do let me know and I will pop back and do them sporadically. I do kind of feel like I plan the same way, so I think it can be a bit boring for people. But, um, you know, if you're interested, let me know. All right, many thanks for watching and I'll be back soon. Bye.